This ChatGPT workflow is almost comical how good it is. I'm over here laughing to myself like, what the heck? So let's just jump into it. Okay, Google Ads Keyword Planner. Let's move fast out of respect for your time. New York, SEO, click go. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna dovetail perfectly into this video. If you haven't checked it out, check out that video. But New York SEO, what is this gonna show? It's gonna show broad terms and that's the key it's going to show us things that people type in that relate to your primary search new york seo this concept rings true for all of the keywords you're going to type into this tool now look above me look above my head see this refined keywords you can click here but i'm not going to do that let's just grab them all let's download into a csv now as that's downloaded let's just google new york seo let's see who comes up all right, smart sites, that's sponsored, right? So this is a three pack, the map pack, as they say, top New York SEO company. Let's click on this website, let's click here, let's click here. All these companies are making a lot of money because listen, if you can provide SEO services in New York City, you're gonna make a lot of money. This is the website that we looked at in the other video, check that video out, look. Look, what do these websites have in common? I just want to know quickly, and I want to know what to do about it. Now in ChatGPT, come to GPT-4 Code Interpreter. This is where we're going to live. See this button here, upload file, upload the CSV, and let's have some fun. Now when this works so easily, I was jumping up for joy. Provide URL slugs that I need to write on my website based upon the data I've provided. I want to rank for this. So you can copy this for any concept. And look, it says, great, I didn't, listen, you have to upload a UTF file out of the gates keyword planner is going to give you um, something weird like a txt file you have to change it so it gave me some errors here um, but finally it said look here this is amazing for new york seo so in other words if you want to rank for this term based upon the data you've given me put this in this this is incredible like literally type in www.whatever slash new york seo it's telling me the slugs and the pages we need to write for new york seo company new york seo company best new york seo company i'll choose one of those two let's keep going with it for new york seo expert boom so look 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 it gets even better i said can you provide more service specific slugs New York SEO audit, New York SEO for small businesses. This is based upon data that Google is collecting. People actually type in these terms. It's incredible. So look, location specific slugs. That is a huge one. The, the video I'm telling you to watch has a lot of those. Industry specific slugs, crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, give me more um, uh, location based slugs. Let's go with this. Now I'm going to show you what I usually do for this tactic and we can kind of lean it up against what we have going on here. New York City boroughs. Look at this. Incredible. So let's see what I used to do and let's see how we can combine them into a really good SEO program. Pay close attention. I'm going to give away some SEO secrets right now, but you can go into people's sitemaps. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It really is contingent. It depends on if they have Yoast SEO. So I'm going to grab that. SEO sitemap, let's go here, boom, did it work, boom. Let's see what this page is doing. So look, 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 we're gonna use this. This is the websites, this is all of that website's pages, like all of the content that they have, every slug, a slug is just like a suffix upon www.whatever.com slash that, that thing right there is a slug. Um, so we're gonna try these guys, let's go right here, boom, sitemap, okay, see here, boom, post, look, 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 these are all their, their blogs, right? SEO versus SEM. We could click right here, SEO versus SEM, which is better for your business and so on and so forth. It's an easy way if they're using Yoast SEO or something similar for WordPress to grab exactly what they have going on. So what we're going to do, I'm taking one of the websites, combine these competitor slugs into your recommendations, make sure to include what they've done too. Boom. Let's see if it can do it. I just want to have it on the same chat GPT, you know, uh, interface talk uh, chat, I guess you could say. Um, competitor slugs. Look at this. This is so cool. Jeez Louise. This is why I was laughing to myself. I'm like, man, this used to be so difficult, such a pain. Look, we can see exactly which location based SEO services pages, your recommendations. So we're leaning it up against each other. This is incredible. Other location based SEO. Awesome. Your recommendations, uh, web design services, um, competitor has this, your recommendations had this, uh, digital marketing. Look at this, it goes on and on. So how hard is that? We can see exactly what our competitors are doing, right? And then we can lean it up against data that Google Keyword Planner has. But it gets even better, check this out. So someone asked me, look, I'm watching and always waiting for your new videos, thank you for that. Can you make a video for fitness website, please? And I asked them, 
what aspect of fitness. So what we're gonna do, let's pretend we have a niche website where we make money with display ads and other things such as Amazon, affiliate things. How would I use this tactic for a fitness website? First step is let's ask ChatGPT, tell me the most profitable CPC niches within the fitness uh, niche for a website. So just tell me the niches. It's important, blah, blah, blah. Come on now. Home workout equipment and programs. Okay. Uh, weight loss programs. Yeah, that's definitely a high, high, high money one. Nutritional supplements. That could be cool. Protein powders. Um, we could do that. Vitamins. All right, let's go with this. Nutritional supplements, protein powder, or vitamins. Which one should we do? Let's do vitamins. Let's use vitamins. Let's see how we can use this tactic for vitamin. Now I'm a bit concerned this is too broad. This is too broad, just type it in vitamin. But let's see what we have going on here. Let's go, let's see, vitamin. Okay, vitamin D, C, da 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 da. You know, that's gonna be the problem because it's just gonna list all of these different vitamins without any intent. Like it's just general Wikipedia type of stuff. So how do we, how do we take this? Let's say, Let's say vitamin, let's say vitamin D supplement, right? Boom. And let's see what people what comes up with. Now we're getting more honed in. We're gonna go further down into the funnel. Okay, yeah, now we have something here. So look, all these different things, vitamin D, 1000 IU, these are very specific things. I think there's probably good money behind these. Let's look at the cost per click. Over here to the right, do you see here, uh, top page of bid? 14 cents so there's money behind like all of these therefore there's traffic behind all of these and now we have something to work with so here we go same prompt as before same exact thing let's see if ChatGPT can do a good job for us let's see here so great you provided a file that's good let's keep going with it let's keep going with it all right so far so good so this prompt seems pretty bulletproof watch it just crumble in front of us i'm gonna go live no matter what happens here mark my words i'm just gonna go live with it i'm not gonna uh oh okay all right all right good 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 good. come on now since we're focusing da, 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 let's extract relevant information all right identify relevant so come on now create slugs we can follow all right so it's going on this whole journey. It's telling us we want to do this thing. I'd prefer ChatGPT just just do the thing, robot. Do the thing, robot. But it wants to tell us as it works, and that's okay too. Um, nice, 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 nice. Okay, it's giving us a page title this time. Best vitamin D supplement. Okay, cool. Vitamin D tablets. It's working yet again. It's working. Vitamin D. Uh, three explained. Incredible. A versus article. This is insane. A D2 versus D3. Man, geez Louise. So what we're going to do, let's let this run out. What I'm going to do is understand in vitamin D3. We're going to copy just one of these at random, right? This is really, really good. We're going to copy this and I'll show you what we're going to do. Now off the bat, we can go to Google. We can type in understand in vitamin D3 and we can look. And you're going to find like incredibly hard things to compete against, right? Uh, .gov, .edu, Mayo Clinic, forget about it. So what I would prefer to do is come over to Answer Socrates. Let's type it in here. Let's see if this is going to help us out at all. 48 questions. I love it. I love it. I love it. So what we've done is we, we've, we've specified exactly what we want to search for. If you're going to do a broad turn, let's just understand about vitamin D3. Good luck. Good luck. You always have to dive in deeper, especially in these YMYL niches, your money, your life. What is the proper way to take vitamin uh, D3? So we could come over here. Let's type in that query. So what we're doing, we're going down the rabbit hole a bit. Uh, WebMD is still at top. And Google does this on purpose. They're going to try to give consumers the most reputable websites if it's YMYL. But I'm just looking, is there anything in the cracks? I might need to use hrefs here, dummies.com, very well health. I mean, goodness gracious, these are all, there's so much money behind this that, man, I'm looking for like literally a long tail, long tail in that it has a lot of words in this definition. What are the symptoms of a vitamin D3 deficiency? Let's just keep rolling with it. Let's see if we can find something of interest to us. I'm looking for a website that's not .edu or .gov so that I can kind of do parasitic SEO. But maybe this was not the best example. Maybe the fitness niche, especially um, what we're doing here, is a bit too competitive for the purposes of this video. Now, taking a step back, let's think about what we've done. We had an idea and we looked on Google to see how competitive is this thing. If I had money, right? If I was a client, I had 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 to spend on this, I'd be saying to myself, mm, it might not be worth going down that road. So a lot of times people, this is so important. Listen, a lot of times people try to create the desire of a client. You cannot create the desire. You have to go to where the clients have desire, 
right? So we use Google Keyword Planner to see where the desire is. What are people typing into Google right now? And then we have to pair it against our competition. Can we even compete against Mayo Clinic? There's no way. Not in a hundred, not in a hundred years is that going to happen, right? So we have to see: is it worth our time to go after this specific? keyword of course we're not going to give up their training bags look up here training bags let's get the results let's see what comes up here there's 452 keywords nice a lot of them are branded okay a lot of them are branded and so what we can do i can come over here to refine keywords okay my head's kind of in the way i'll try to shrink my head a little bit all right brand or non-brand we're going to say non-brand see here we could take out fashion brands other brands we don't want brands why because we're not going to compete against listen we're not going to compete against these brands websites you want a nike bag you're going to go to the nike website right all right so let's see what's coming up here show 140 very nice now these are generic these we can work with so provide url slugs that i need this is a bit different that i need to write on my website based upon data i provide i want to rank for informational content that's a bit different than the last prompt let's see how this things go uh it's going to be live action we're going to see how it goes if it falls on its face that's okay too all right so so far it looks the same all right after that blah 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 working working is always good let's see what it works up for us so the reason we're going to do informational content right is because i do not want purchase intent right here a lot of it's going to be purchase intent let's see if it can sift through informational versus purchase all right da 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 okay all right the csv file contains useful information yes it does identify yes remember it usually tells us what it's going to do instead of just doing it that's okay propose content ideas this looks pretty darn good shall we yes we shall it's funny how it does that, right? All right, let's see what it comes up with. All right, here we go. Look at this. Not bad, right? So it said, look, here are the high value keywords related to traded bags that have significant search volume. All right, cool, cool, cool. Based on these specific keywords, here's some ideas. Workout bag guide. That's informational. I like that. Uh, workout backpacks um, content, but it's a listicle. Not bad. Um, boxing gym bag. Boxing. Eh, that's sport duffel bags, listicle backpacks for training. Uh, these URL slugs and content ideas are aligned with, okay, that's fine. Um, but are they informational in nature or purchase intent? I need informational. Let's see if we can drive it down a bit more, right? All right, let's see what it can do. You're absolutely right. And I apologize. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all heard that before chat GPT. Let's see what you got. All right. The bag guide. That is good. That is informational tips, workout, backpack tips. All right, as this is going, I'm going to ask it for each one, provide the exact potential volume of searches based upon the data. All right, so let's roll with that. It did a great job. That's like that's five articles we could do, but I want to know like the relative data for each one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 5,000 average monthly searches. Um, now provide the exact keywords we need to target for each article. Okay, let it go through. That was pretty good. 5,000, save 5,000 for each one of them. We could cross reference, but let's just take its word for it. Um, exact keywords we should target for each one. And then we're going to take this, we're going to do something with it. Workout bag, da, 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 enthusiasts. Come on now, give us something here. Keyword to target. Okay, it's giving us one. Give multiple keywords for each article and include LSIs. All right, let's stop generating. Boom. Let's go here. All right, shucks. All right, regenerate. Let's see what it can do. And with a little persuasion, we have this one right here. It gives us LSIs and secondary keywords, primary keyword, and the content idea. So what are we going to do? Let's take this. Let's go to Word Galaxy. Let's go to the dashboard. Let's go to new article. This takes a second, right? Let's push it here. What to pack for in your workout bag, a complete checklist for gym enthusiasts. Pretty darn cool. Let's do here. What are we going to do? Let's grab these. Let's grab these. Boom. I got to take these out. Boom, boom. Gym bag essentials, items, da, da, da. All right, best bag. I don't think ChatGPT, because this is based upon ChatGPT, might have a hard time with some of this. Let's say workout bag. Boom, here. Let's go. Style. Let's do, what are we going to do? Let's do English. Let's do article length one. 
and now we're spinning let's wait a second now as that one is working right it takes a minute or two and we don't have to do anything once it's working we can start a new instance of our galaxy i want to try something right i want to try something i want to compare these two so instead of having these as the headers right instead of having these as the headers we'll have them as additional keywords to inject in the article very very interesting we'll let the tool come up with it itself and i just want to grab the workout bag as well boom let's put it at the top just for good measure um boom all right so let's do that it's everything is the same in both of these right is this one done okay by now it's done so we're going to have this one cooking over here while this one is going um what to pack for in your workout bag it gives you meta title okay meta description very nice and all the headers we pushed here very nice it came up with this um i don't know how many words this might be let's just look items for fitness bag your workout bag should be well stocked with essential items that will enhance your fitness routine and ensure smooth great um workout bag checklist in order to ensure that you have everything you need uh blah, blah, blah. this checklist uh, choose comfortable moisture wicking fabrics so what i would do i would go through here i would check for accuracy now let's check out the other article keep in mind this is the one we did this we did not include any headers and we have all the additional keywords we wanted to inject and look I think the structure is much better. Uh, conclusion, we have fitness accessories, water bottle, resistance bands, jump rope, foam rollers. I mean, that's really darn good. Workout apparel, moisture wicking clothing, right? Pretty cool. But the deficit I see here is it included workout bag nine times. If I click here, it can push a hyperlink to each of those instances. Gym bag essentials three times, but it didn't have items for fitness bag, workout bag checklist, and best bag for gym and work. And the reason is this tool, Word Galaxy, will not force injections. It will not keyword stuff. And that is by design. We don't want to keyword stuff if we can help it. We do want to choose which keywords are pushed in there. Oftentimes, if you choose lesser words instead of like a string of five words and you just have one word, it's going to easily put it in there right but play around with it a cool tool this probably cost us one two three cents to write each of those articles so not bad at all i hope you like this video check out my other ones check out this video right here like i was saying that's excellent please subscribe to the channel um, a lot of things going on here a lot of cool things we have a new seo tool coming out in the future so get on the uh, newsletter because people on the newsletter will have first dibs on that but i appreciate all of you and um i'll check you on the next one